Here's another quick QuickBooks tip, expenses by vendor report. This is one of my favorite reports to analyze in QuickBooks Online. And the way you get to that report is by clicking on the reports menu on the left navigation bar and then clicking on reports, uh, the first tab that you see in there. On the top right, you're gonna see a search box called find report by name. And in there you can just type uh, the word expenses and then you can see all the reports that have the word expenses in it. So we're gonna select expenses by vendor summary. And essentially this is gonna be a report that shows me all the vendors as the rows and the total amount would be basically everything you spent with that vendor. You can scroll up and down and analyze all your vendors. You can also click on sort and sort uh, in descending order. So you can see the dollar amount that's the highest. That means the vendor that you spent the most money with. And every once in a while, you will find a vendor called not specified. That's actually not the name of the vendor. That's actually every single time you created a transaction in QuickBooks and failed to put the vendor name or the payee name. Now you can see that if you wanna analyze a expenses by vendor report, you cannot be skipping the payee or the vendor name. If you actually click on the total dollar amount next to not specified, you can actually analyze and see all the transactions that were entered and the vendor name or the payee name was skipped completely. This happens very often when people use uh, online banking, bank feeds, download the transactions and categorize them without putting a payee name into it. Right now, the only way to fix that is to click on every single one of them and make sure you put the actual pay in there, correct it, and then click on save and close. And hopefully you get to the point where you would have no transactions without a vendor or a pay in it. So you can actually enjoy and be able to analyze that expenses by vendor summary correctly. I'm gonna show you one more thing, which is actually a hidden report. So we're gonna go into reports and then click on reports again. And then we're gonna open up a profit and loss report. Just a regular profit and loss report. And then we're gonna scroll down all the way to expenses where it says total expenses. We're gonna click on that total dollar amount that's in there. And this is gonna give me a detailed report of everything that was expensed in your QuickBooks and is by default grouped by uh, the account. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the grouping, change that from account to vendor. And essentially you will get a really, really clean a detailed report of all the expenses by vendor. You can actually collapse each one of the vendors that you don't want to analyze and then leave open the ones that you do want to analyze and maybe take a look at if different account or expense categories are being used in for this particular vendor. And at that point, make a decision on whether or not this is accurate or not, or if you have to reclassify it. Trust me, you do these two reports and you will instantly be more effective at analyzing your expenses and making sure your vendors and your expenses are all categorized correctly. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I create a new video like this. Thanks.